But one of for a police officer to go to jail for anything, we look at that as a win. And out on bond for a murder charge, now back in Metro, accused of taking part in another violent crime. Look, Harry. Jesus Christ. Is there a story where the guy's not out on bond? <laughs> It's fucking I mean, sick, man. they call it they call it Mob Town for a reason. <laughs> mob Town, okay. Yeah, Mobile and is Mob on, Town. I bet it is. It is. And out on bond for a murder charge. Now back in Metro, accused of taking part in another violent crime. Look, Harry Lett and a teen were arrested after two people were shot at Wickerby Park earlier this month. Our Shelby Myers is in the studio now. And Shelby, prosecutors filing a new motion today to keep Lett behind bars. Yeah, that's right, Lenise and Byron. A judge granting that motion filed this morning to revoke Look, Harry Lett's bond. He was out on more than a million dollars bail for a murder charge in 2021. Now he's facing assault charges for the violence at Rickerby Park. Court documents shedding some light on what allegedly happened. He was out on a million Gunfire dollar Gunfire at a family park. Yeah, with somebody else's money. They, they rob you, steal your money, sell drugs in your community, and they acquire all this money, and then they fucking use it for bond. So I got to give the judge a little credit. They, the, the judge gave him a million dollar bond, so I mean, still. I would have gave him no bond and you wouldn't have had to fucking worry about this shit. Light on what allegedly happened. Gunfire at a family park two Fridays ago. Mobile police say two people were shot at Rickerby Park in serious condition. A 16-year-old and this man, LaCarrie Lett, were arrested yesterday for the crime. According to new court documents, the violence stemmed from kids being kids. In a motion to revoke Let's Bond, a Mobile County Assistant District Attorney says a seven-year-old was throwing dirt and sticks at a four-year-old. Then the parents of the children began to argue, and it turned into two families fighting. Sons being sons. Sticks and stones, shit. Listen, weren't John Morantz, weren't a lot of his issues about this? His girl, some girl called his sister a bitch at a volleyball game? And he came up there with like 20 thugs. I mean, it's this is a common occurrence in Sunderstand, man. I've been there when this shit has happened. I've been there. I've been the fucking guy where it's like my sister's like, oh no, nah, he ain't playing with my daughter. Come on, come, come with me, Mike. Let's go. And I'm like, oh shit. And we popping up at some fucking project and shit. And there's a to fucking approach some people about some bullshit that happened with these some fucking little kids. I've been there, man. It happened so fast. One of your fucking female family members, come on, I gotta fuck this shit. I'm going over there. And it's like, shit. And you hop in the car and it's a and she like a bear with her cubs and shit. And it's like, oh, man. And that shit happened so fast. And people died in them situations. I've been there with, with my with my male family members. I've been there before, man, where it's like, oh, shit. And then you just in the car going over there, and you're like, oh, shit. Then you pull up, and there's a bunch of niggas outside, and there's a car full of y'all, and it's like, oh, shit. Mm -mm -mm. I, this, shit, this shit don't surprise me. This shit don't surprise me. It's just sad, man. We don't have no self-control, man. Um... We can't, we, we, we always talk about de-escalating. That's projection. We the worst at de-escalating on the planet. Salute yeah, to ain't CA. no brakes on the sun train. Salute to CA, man. CA um, coming through real big. CA, Oc Nation Hall of Famer, man. Um, salute to Zuberi, man. He said, uh, oh, nah, CBK, the dude that was pranking. Okay. I don't know what he mean by that. Uh, Attorney says a seven-year-old was throwing dirt and sticks at a four-year-old. Then the parents of the children began to argue, and it turned into two families fighting. Documents say Let tackled one victim and told him he was going to die. It then says Let told a 16-year-old to go get a gun from his car. 
The document says the teen did and came back and shot both victims before he and Lett drove off. Lett was out on bond for a 2021 murder charge at a sports bar on Airport Boulevard. Police say Lett shot and killed Keelan Foster in the parking lot, releasing this surveillance video of the crime. According to court documents, he posted the more than $1 million bail and was awaiting trial. Now, Lett will have a bond hearing tomorrow on these new assault charges. I did reach out to the district attorney, Keith Blackwood, tonight for comment, but I have not yet heard back. Live in the studio tonight, Shelby Myers, Fox 10. These some dangerous sons, man. God. We Stop. still ain't got to the damn water board yet. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. If you if you hit a child and you kept going, that that that's about that's about as low as it gets for me. Well, pure anger tonight from a Mobile community after a two year old boy is hit by a car and left for dead. And the driver didn't even stop. Well, tonight there's a damn white man. I'm going to quote, gonna quote <laughs> Wicked on this one. Did you die, though? Why did this white guy hit this little black kid not stop, man? Jesus Christ, man. You white people are fucking destroying our community, man. It's a long road to recovery for that little boy. Our Ariel Mallory has been working on this story live at MPD headquarters. Ariel, you spoke with the child's grandmother tonight who says uh, he was taken to UAB hospital. Yeah, that's right, Lenise. They were on their way to UAB when we got off the phone a few hours ago. The grandmother tells me that her grandson's leg is broken. He'll also have facial reconstruction and will have a metal plate in his jaw. Now, she didn't want to speak on camera, but she did want me to share this message tonight. She wants the person responsible to do the right thing and turn themselves in. Y'all got to stop saying that, some people. For real, man. You do do any of the dudes that we covered so far in this show in the last fucking 30 minutes, 40 minutes, do any of those guys look like they would turn themselves in if they fucking ran over a little kid and kept going? About the only chance you have is a glider that then feels guilty. I think the glider stops. On the scene, I don't think the glider keeps going. Unless it's a brush. Sometimes... Sometimes if they're drunk, they continue to go, and then they feel guilty about it later and come forward. Tonight, Mobile police are looking for the driver who hit a two-year-old boy and kept going. It happened after 8 o'clock last night on Hawes Avenue near Hemley Avenue. According to police, the driver was coming eastbound on Hawes when the toddler ran into the road and got hit, the driver leaving him there. The family sharing this photo of little Jacoby Greenhouse Wells, who was rushed to UAB late this afternoon. Solomon Curry is a pastor at the church across the street. He says he was outside moments. Move that damn um move that move that breaking news to the outside. It was outside moments before Jacoby got hit. I heard uh some children playing over there and I was really concerned that it was dark and they were outside playing. By the time that I got home. So that little two year old was out at when it was dark? Uh, is that surprising? Unsupervised. Yeah, obviously unsupervised because he wouldn't have been concerned. The pastor wouldn't have been concerned if, if, if they were supervised. Jesus Christ, man. Kobe got hit. I heard uh, some children playing over there, and I was really concerned that it was dark and they were outside playing. By the time that I got home, telling me that one of the little children had got hit. His family says Jacoby has a broken leg and will have a metal plate in his jaw. Pastor Curry says he sees people speed up and down this street constantly. He fears for the children at his daycare who have to cross the road throughout the day. As Gliders just every day. Uh, the speed limit through his probably about 30 miles an hour. That car was probably doing about 45 going down the street and that's a commonality. My concern is that I have a daycare and uh, I, I have to do what I have to do in order to protect the children at the daycare. Curry says he would like to see speed bumps installed to slow down drivers in hopes it could prevent something like this from happening again. You're not going to miss anything if you slow down uh, and take your time. Uh, that 
What a great community. Man, you might have a bond for a murder charge. I, I I gotta I gotta leave uh, Mobile, man. You told me Alabama is exhausting. I gotta <laughs> Mobile leave. is different. Yeah, I can't I can't stay in Mobile. We gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta 